we get wheat lorries arrive on site and they go on to the weigh bridge where we weigh them in and we get a wheat passport. Uh, we then start booking them in on our system and we check the red tractor assurance number, which is on the sticker. We check that on the red tractor assurance checker online to make sure that the, uh, the farm is still in date. So then we start sampling uh, the lorry. So we take eight samples from the trailer, which comes directly into the lab. And we start testing the wheat. So we put that in our grinder, run it through our NIR, and uh, do a couple of other tests on that. So once we pass the wheat and um, it's all in spec, it goes round to wheat intake where the lorry is tipped into the intake bay. And then that wheat is then stored into the bins. So every load of grain that leaves this farm has a grain passport that goes with it, but it, that grain passport is part of a much larger assurance process. So every time I do something to my crop to look after it and to grow it, I have to make a record of that so that it ensures that when somebody buys wheat that's been grown to a red tractor standard, it's traceable and it's safe and it's great for human consumption. And the passport is the thing that confirms that. It's very important for us to, to know what is arriving at the mill. Um, but in the end, because in the end of the day, we're going to produce uh, food, something that is going to be used to produce products to be consumed by, uh, by people as well as, as animals. So we need to make sure that we know what we're dealing with. So we've got our um, NIR machine on site, our near infrared, and that's probably our most important piece of equipment that we have on site. Um, or in the lab. So that measures the protein, the moisture, um, and the hardness of our wheat. Uh, but it also tests protein, moisture, uh, starch damage, and water absorption on our flowers as well. So it's not just the wheat that's tested in it, it's everything goes through that. That allows the millers to use the correct amount of water when they're conditioning wheat. Um, if we're getting wheat in that's really dry, then we'd need to use more water. So it's about, again, making sure that the wheat is in specification. So when it reaches a flour mill, they can be confident that I have done everything perfectly from my end. So that starts with a clean grain store. It goes through the growing process and right through into the loading process to the fact that my loader was clean and the wheels were clean and everything is as it should be.